What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and today we're back with a temper glass screen protector from Zag. This is going to be their glass curve series to unbox. Do a quick review. As always, we'll throw up the link in the video description. Now, I think this is one of those that's not full adhesive. When I say not full adhesive, non-full glue, which kind of impacts the screen and actual overall feel and honestly quality of the screen protector. But we'll check it out anyways to see if it's a hit or a miss. I think last year, or at least for the Galaxy S9, they came out with that full glue um curb screen protector but i'm not sure why they didn't bust that out for the nine i know they had some issues with it so maybe that was the thing so they just decided to do this curb screen protector with the lack of full glue but we'll check it out 49 bucks is the price point check around you can probably get a little cheaper than that but it's definitely steep so we'll see together if it's worth that price point presentation is legit like you would expect got the invisa shield glass curve Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and then it's got that curved precise fit on the back I'm Gonna tell you a little more details about what you're getting in the presentation and that's pretty much it guys Let's go ahead and check it out now I can do gotta say even when they're ones that aren't full adhesive Zach does have one of the better feeling ones and I mean that's maybe a small compliment Because I really am a big fan of the full glue ones. They just has such a different feeling to it then when you have one that just got the non-full adhesive because it the fingerprints start showing up it's got like its dot matrix so a bunch of gripes for me i'm gonna put them on pause until we actually finish the review though you know what i'm saying guys so let's go and check it out now one thing i really appreciate is the fact that they include the installation tray which makes the installation pretty easy i'm not gonna lie about that it makes it pretty seamless as well so it's important that they throw that in there. But for the price point, you would expect that. They got a lifetime warranty. Check it out. Do the register. I'm not sure how, you know, shows you the instructions as well. Put that to the side. And then you got your usual suspects. Got a wet wipe right here. Got your dust removal sticker, which is important. And then you got a microfiber cloth. Got, yeah, it's a little bit cheap. I would like to see a little more weight to it and maybe even a logo that's just me being a little picky all right so let's check out the screen protector itself let's see what we got here i did like right now i think the bodyguards I, I did a bodyguards one i wasn't a big fan of that one that one was full adhesive it just did not actually just it never fully stuck to the screen so and then i did the tempered glass review for the uh whitestone dome and that is full glue it just takes a lot of patience and practice to put on so just be mindful it's expensive and it does take a little more patience when you do apply it now the tempered glass screen protector you can see they now got a nice curve to the screen it doesn't have the black border on the side so what you can tell is you're going to have a little bit of glue right around the edges you can almost see where the glue is going to be so the main glue is going to be at the bottom and the top so that's where your actual glue is there's not going to be any adhesive in the middle but it does have a nice feel to it. It's, it's very lightweight, but it doesn't have a cheap quality to it. So that's nice at least. So hopefully this one actually will be a pretty nice screen protector. I don't think there's many great options for right now available for the, the Note 9. So this may be a good option if you guys are in a, you know, a Verizon store, AT&T store, if they do the installation for you type thing. So see if they'll do that for free. If, they're, if you're paying off 50 bucks for a screen protector, they should put it on for free. Make sure they do it right though. And it looks beautiful when you leave. Give it a quick wipe down. We're taking the wet wipe. Get all the curved edges. Get the top of the screen. Get the sides. Give it a good bath. Do this in front of some type of direct lighting too guys. Very important. Especially when you guys are doing this by yourselves. When you're spending 50 bucks for a screen protector. To me, that's the most scary thing. Why don't you throw in two of them for 50? At least if you mess up one, you got a you got one in the bank. But that's just my that's just my opinion. So let's go ahead and uh, wipe it down, wipe it down. Give it a quick wipe down. You guys liking the Note 9? I gotta say, it, it's a beautiful, fantastic phone. I'm really enjoying the the Note 9. I think it might be more, it might be the phone of the year in terms of just overall. It doesn't have any 
limitations, let's put it that way. There are going to be some people that gripe about, you know, they like pure Android, but I haven't experienced any type of uh, lag with this one yet. So the Samsung lag may be gone. I didn't have any lag with the S9 either, so maybe that's a thing of the past. Looks pretty good. And then from what th right there, I'll take the actual, you can see right there, the Invisa Shield logos this is going to be one of those screen protectors or i'm sorry it's going to be one of the trays that actually lines up pretty seamlessly should be easy to go so this is probably going to line up let me try to see if i'm doing this right i don't want to do it mess it up mess it up here visit shield here we go the last thing you want to do is mess up the installation that's why i say watch the video guys check out their video they do have an installation video on their website so then take the dust removal sticker. And I put the tray on first so I can get that, the alignment right. And then get the dust removal sticker. This is pretty much up to you. Follow the instructions though because I'm no expert. I just kind of roll with it. Looks pretty good. Check that out. Okay. Then we'll take the screen protector itself. So this is going to be the one. And then what we're going to do is take the top and bottom, line it up just right. There you go. Should be good to go. And then what I'll do is I'll take the microfiber cloth, start on the inside, work my way out. Get the, basically what you want to do is kind of get those bubbles out, get the air out of it. So start on the middle, work your way out to the outside corners. Just gets all the trapped air out of it since it's not full glue. Shake this out, pop it out like that. Easy peasy, no issues at all. You can see one thing that is nice about these that don't have full glue, and I'll say this is one of the least, or one of the better things I do like, is the fact that you don't have to worry about bubbles. There's really not any type of air bubbles because the glue's really just on the sides. Now, the per it is perfect fit. You guys can see how it lined up just right. Let me go ahead and do this. Let me get the sides because that's where the adhesive is. So you kind of want to make sure you get the sides to fully apply. All right. So I gotta say that that doesn't look too bad. There are very you can see the dots on. I'm trying to give you guys a different angle so you can see kind of these little micro dots in the middle dot matrix. It's not as noticeable as some of them, so that's not that big an issue to me. Now, another issue I usually have is the fact that these usually have kind of good fingerprint magnets. This one appears to be pretty decent so far. So I, so far so good. But you can see it's full edge to edge corner, and it cuts off right there. I'll give you guys a view of that, so you can see where it cuts off. So you should have plenty of room to put on a case with no issues at all. You got a room around the top right there, so very nicely done. Give you guys some just different angles of this. So overall, it definitely feels like a nice product, premium product. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'll put it on with a Spigen case. I'm just going to throw this on. This is a Spigen rugged armor, I think. Neo Hybrid, that's what it is, Neo Hybrid. This is a pretty heavy duty case, but you can check it out. with the, Even with the case, you can see you got plenty of room for it to breathe around the edges. So there's no issues at all with this popping up because of, see, no issues at all. Very nice. All right, guys, so the question is, is this a hit or miss? Oh, that's a tough call. I'm going to say maybe a mini hit. If it was full glue, that's one thing for that price point. I can't recommend it fully. There's probably different alternatives out there that are very similar to this product. And I think that price is just too high. So I would probably put a pass on it. That's just my opinion. Again, if you're in a Verizon store, AT&T, T-Mobile, and they got this and they'll hook it up with the installation, that's fine. It's probably going to give maybe give you a discount on it. But otherwise, I'd say probably put a pass on it. Keep on looking just because it's not full glue. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.